Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a dynamic, a feel-good session. We're going to work the whole body um, and it's going to be a really nice kind of 20 to 25 minute session. So if you enjoy this class then make sure you head on over to my virtual studio where we have so many amazing routines for you to try uh, for all different levels um, and we would love to see you there. So let's jump into this routine. Okay, so let's get started today in a seated position. We're going to do some really nice rollbacks, some lovely work for our spine, getting our abdominals warmed up and our hips as well. So let's sit up nice and tall, hands behind the backs of your thighs, lift through that spine, elbows out to the side, and let's just take a moment to be here on the mat. So breathing in and breathing out. So you just want to let go of all that excess tension that you might still be holding on to and just really leave everything that you don't need off the mat, bring your mind into your body, just coming into this moment, lifting and lengthening through the spine and again, breathing in and breathing out. Good, let's start to move the spine now. So on the next exhale, start to round your spine, drawing your navel back, Tuck in your hips underneath you, start to stretch the arms as you roll back through that spine, breathing in, anchor the feet and then breathe out as you round forwards and lift all the way upright. And again, so just get moving. You can make this movement as small or as big as feels comfortable for you, but just make sure that you're controlling the movement and you're sitting up nice and straight at the top so you can work that back as well. So we're rocking back and rounding over the shoulders and lifting nice and tall. Good. Two more here. Breathing out and breathing in. And just remember, keep that nice flowing breath. So we don't want to ever sort of hold the breath. Breathing out as we rock back and breathing in as we lift tall. Beautiful. Good. Now we're going to add a little bit of leg work. So next time we go back, we're going to bring the right knee in. Now you can keep holding on to the backs of your legs, or if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, reach those arms forwards in front of you. So next time you roll back, your right foot is going to come in towards you. Just keep the foot in contact with the floor and then sweep back up right and reach it away. And we're just going to alternate that. So you're going to exhale, drawing the foot in, and slide the foot away to come up. Good. So slide the foot in, breathing out, navel to spine, breathing in to slide it forwards. So we're just kind of bringing that knee in, moving that hip, and then coming upright every time. Let's do four more. Exhale. Now I really want you to try and keep square. So you could use your mat like a little grid system to check that you're not swinging left to right. So one more on each side here. Breathing out, breathing in. My foot gets a little bit stuck on this mat sometimes. Breathing out and breathing in. But that's okay, because we're gonna be lifting it off now. So remember, you can hold on if you need to. We're gonna add another layer onto this. So exhale, round that spine. We're still warming up that back, warming up the hips. We're gonna bring the right knee in. We're gonna stretch that leg up. Just go where you can with that leg. Don't worry if it doesn't get fully straight and then come all the way back up to the top. And again, exhale, left leg comes in. Extend that leg up, see where it can go. Bend that knee in, place it down, lift tall. So we're just adding that leg extension, lengthening that hamstring, breathing out, breathing in, Lifting up, navel to spine, we roll back, left knee, extend. Don't worry if you just want to do the bent knee version, that's completely fine. Rolling up, stretching out. One more on each leg, drawing in, opening up that knee, bending that knee now. I can feel myself twisting there a little bit. And we come up, and last one, adding that leg, reaching out through those arms. Bringing that knee in, placing that foot down, and lifting nice and tall. 
Good, just realign yourself. We're gonna come all the way down onto the mat now. So take those arms forwards. You can hold on if you need to, or just slowly, bone by bone, let your body settle on the mat. Okay, coming into a pelvic curl. So bringing your feet in a little bit closer, about a foot, foot, foot distance away from your sit bones, lining yourself up, shoulders away from the ears. And we take a breath in, collarbone is nice and wide. Coming into our pelvic curl. So we're gonna press the low back into the mat, start to open through the front of the hips, activate through the glutes, the hamstrings, you're rolling up. So we're looking for this long line at the top, you know this one, you're coming back to it. Ribs are settled, not sticking out. And then we're gonna come down through that spine, just a couple here, and then we're gonna add some things on. Inhale at the bottom. Use the feet, so try and really use the feet into the floor, pushing them down through the ball of the big toe, ball of the little toe, center of the heel. Reaching through the front of those thighs, and we roll down, massaging that spine down. Next one, we're gonna hold it up there. So curl the tailbone towards you, imprint the low back, stand into the feet, use the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, hold it there. So you've got a little bit of center, navel to spine, you're breathing, so you're not holding that breath. We're gonna come up and down. So we're gonna lower the pelvis, we're gonna lift the pelvis. And every time you lift, I want you to try and get a little bit more of a posterior tilt. So a little bit more of a tuck under, lengthening the lower back for eight, seven, six. We're gonna be working through the whole body today, five, four, keep the ribs soft, three, keep breathing, two, and one, roll it down, vertebrae by vertebrae, let go, we're going to come up, we're going to do this on a single leg, so if you don't feel comfortable to do single leg, then you can just do it with both feet pressing down, or bear weight into your right foot, Lift your left heel without letting the hips drop, lift the left knee in towards you. We're gonna do again that drop down and up for eight, seven, slow and steady, six, feeling strong, five, four, stands into that right foot, three, keeping that left hip level, two, pressing the mat away, one, place that foot down, bear weight into that left foot, lift your right heel, balancing, lifting that right knee in towards you, eight here, eight, you've got it, seven, breathe, six, five, keeping that knee above the hip, four, three, two, balancing those arms, last one, and place that foot down, and roll that spine all the way down. Well done, hug the knees in towards your chest, just let your low back imprint, have a little hug there, and then we're gonna just do a little bit more abdominal work, and then we're gonna come for some arm work, okay, today. So reach those hands behind your head, either interlace or one hand on top of the other, elbows just off the mat in your peripheral vision. We're gonna take an exhale, curl forwards, Keep the pelvis nice and level. We're gonna reach the hands above the knees. We're gonna take another little reach up if we can. We're gonna bring the hands back behind the head and then we're gonna lay the head back down. We go again, eight of these, breathing out. Seven, reach and down. Six, reach and down. Try not to over pull on the head. Six, and down, five upper abdominals, pelvis staying stable, and down, four, controlling your movements, and down, three, keeping those elbows wide, feet on the mat, Whew, you've got it, two, little extra reach, and down with control, last one. This one, I want you to hold it there. Place one hand on top of the other, reach to the right, center, left, 
center without those hips moving right center left center one more to each side upright center left center hands behind the head and release Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna to come to some upper body work and then some side bending, some side lifts. Work our shoulders, work our waist and side. So just gently come around to your all fours. If you need to put any extra padding under your knees, then just roll your mat up or pop a little towel down there. Add that little extra padding for your knees. We're gonna to come to some box press ups. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. We've got this long spine. Ribs are drawing towards the back of your t-shirt. Tailbone is lengthening away, long sides of the waist. So a little box press up here. Our elbows are gonna come back towards our rib cage, okay? Spread the fingers, index finger or middle finger pointing forwards, whatever feels nice on your wrists. And then we're gonna come down, breathe in, breathe out without arching the spine. And I'm pressing back through my shins. I'm going to do eight here, six, keep in neutral spine, five, four, inhale, exhale, three, you've got two, long neck, you've got one. We're going to try one arm version of this. So bring your right hand behind your back, right to the sacrum. Shoulder is open, shins are pressing down. We're going to just do six on each side, trying not to twist. We go six, five, four, keep reaching forwards, three, drawing that elbow back if you can, two, breathe, one. Oh, I can feel that in that tricep. Other side, right hand down, left hand behind the back of the sacrum. Opening that left shoulder, we go six. This side feels stronger for some reason. Five, four, three, shoulders are nice and wide, two, and one. Now we rebalance, we do eight again, both arms. Eight, really feeling it now. Seven, six, tailbone reaching back, going forwards, five, You've got it. Four, hug those ribs in. Three, press through those shins, the front of those feet. Two, gorgeous, long spine, last one. And sit back on those heels. Gorgeous work, guys. Just reach out through the arms. If you wanna separate the knees, separate the knees. We're gonna come onto one side. We're gonna do a little side prep. So I'm gonna give you a few options to do, depending on how you're feeling today, you can take a more modified version or you can take the more advanced option. So whatever you feel you wanna go for today. So we're gonna come onto our side. I'm gonna do a little prep for the side bend. So we're gonna come onto our elbow. So again, if you want a little extra padding under that arm, just bring the forearm, bring a little pad in there. So first option is gonna to be to keep both knees bent, feet back a little bit and you're gonna keep your bottom knee down and the knees together. So you'll come up, you're gonna come into a side bend, you're gonna to reach to a side plank and you're gonna come down. Second option is you're gonna take the top leg to extend it out, knee is back. So you're gonna come up from then. I, I think this is my favorite one. So you're gonna come up to that plank line, into that side bend, back out into that plank and down. Third option, you can have both legs straight, come up and over, okay? With both legs straight, the feet staggered. I'm gonna go for the second option and we're gonna try five, okay? So that forearm is right underneath, that elbow is right underneath that shoulder. The edge of my foot is down, knee is down there, ribs are drawing back, navel to spine, breathe, relax any tension. We're gonna go for six, press into the feet, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out, nice and calm, four more. Breathe in, find that plank, side bend, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Three more here, nice and steady. Control and down, two, plank. Lift the hips a little bit higher, back and down. Last one, I can feel it in that arm. We were just working, side bend, 
reach and down. Good job, right, come lay down all the way on that arm. That should feel quite nice after all that work on that arm and bring the bottom leg up in front of your hip. So you've got a nice right angle. Lift this top leg. We're just gonna work into the side of this hip, into the glutes. We're just gonna go press in here. 12 of these, 11, 10 little pulses up. I can think what number came after 10 then. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep this lift on this underneath side. Four and three and two and one. Rest that foot all the way down. Okay, all of that lovely work on the other side. So gently press yourself up. If you need to take a little stretch, take a little stretch and just come in around onto the other side. So remember, take an option. So you could go both knees bent, top leg straight or both legs straight. And you could always build up next time you do the routine, you could try another option. So I'm gonna go with that top leg out straight and we're gonna go for five. Lift on this underneath shoulder. Don't wanna be collapsed. Even if you're just holding this position and practicing that, that's absolutely fine before you even lift. So we go inhale, lift the hips, exhale, side bend, inhale, down, and then you go straight back up again. Four, reach, three, and down, and three, and reach, and over, and down. Not doing very good with my counting. Two, and reach, draw the ribs back out, and down with control. Last one, press into that outside foot and reach and lower and down. Good, let's come all the way onto that side. Bring the bottom knee up to that right angle. Lift the top leg, stack yourself on this side, hug those ribs back, flex that heel and we go 12, keeping it parallel. 11, 10, nine, pushing that foot away, keep it in line, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. Flex that foot, two, work the outside of that hip. Last one, and bring that leg in. Relax it out. Good, let's come all the way up. Lovely job, guys. Okay, we're gonna come around into a nice elephant position or a downward facing dog, what you might know it as up stretch as well. It's called lots of different things. You will be familiar with it. So we're just going to tuck our toes under and we're going to feel that long neutral, strong arms that we've just worked. We're going to lift the knees. I'm going to find that hover, breathe, and then we're going to stretch our legs out and lengthen our body back here. So just some nice deep breaths, soft ankles reaching towards the floor, heels reaching back, Soft knees, sit bones are high. We're pushing the mat away. Shoulders are wrapping into the side of your body. You're breathing there, hugging the ribs towards your waist. And just start to lift and lower the heels. Just working through those ankles, up and down, 10 here. Moving through the ankles. Long neck, you've got five, four, three, two, stretch in those hamstrings, one. And then just walk your hands back towards your feet. Tuck your chin towards your chest and slowly roll up to stand and take your time, bone by bone. And we're gonna do some nice standing dynamic works. Give those shoulders a little roll. Come to stand at the front of your mat. So walking forwards and we're going to finish with some, well, this is a whole total body class. So I'm going to do some really nice strong leg work. So we're going to lift up through that spine. Our arms are going to come out into a fly position as we come into a backwards lunge. So keep nice and steady. You're going to find your balance. If you need to hold on to a wall or anything, you can do that as well. Or we're going to step back into a lunge as the arms go out to the side and then forwards back up to standing. Back. So I want you to make sure that you're taking a really big step back so that you've got this nice alignment with your ankles, your knees, 
your hips, tracking your legs. And if you have quite a padded mat, then it might be nice to do it on the floor, standing on the floor, so you've got a little bit of extra balance. And you're going to keep alternating, arms are going to be slightly in front of you, not back behind you. Let's go 10, breathe 9, big step back 8, 7, really nice 6, pushing up forwards, 5, 4, keep breathing, 3, stable ankles, 2, and make sure you're even, last one, and standing up. Gorgeous, we're gonna go into a squat. We're gonna do a squat with a heel raise. We're nearly there, guys. Little final, little dynamic finish here. So we're gonna squat down, long neutral spine, only go as low as you feel comfortable. Lift the heels up, finding a little balance. Lower the heels down and stand. Okay, that's our exercise. We go down, lift, lower, stand. Backs of the legs, hips extending. Down, lift, lower, and down. If your heel raise is not for you, then you can take it out. You don't have to do the heel raise if you don't want to. Got about seven more. And up, keep going. Five. And up, four. And up, three. And up, two, strong in those legs. You've got it, and up. Get those heels down every time. Last one. And push them out away. Standing nice and tall, well done guys. Good, let's just do a few little roll downs to cool down. Shake it out, loosen up. Stand nice and upright, opening your chest and shoulders. Soft knees and then just start to roll. Breathing out through that spine, just cooling down through the center of the spine, breathing in at the bottom. Let the head relax and then coming up. Rebalancing the pelvis, stacking everything, lifting the head, opening that chest. Last one. Take as much time as you need. Peel that spine down over those legs. Inhale there and exhale. Root the feet down as you come up to stand. Take a deep breath in, shoulders lift and release. Good. You are all done. I hope you enjoyed that, working from top to toe with those lovely Pilates exercises. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a little comment to let me know how you got on. And also don't forget to check out the virtual studio and all the classes there. And I will see you again soon. Bye.